Space Shifters Embrace Another Fall. I'm going to be listening to the audio version and the live version. So, just because I want to get good feel for the song. So, I'm going to do the audio version right now. I'm going to be clicking screen record in three, two, one. And here we go. Hmm. interesting sounds in this and I love how I love how the music is really straightforward but then Robert's singing is so soft and smooth I love it so much oh. transition so much. I'm out yeah. upon the shine all through the frost and rain I make my comments let me know who the female or the the woman that is singing i would love to know her name 
She sounds a little bit maybe Norwegian. Sounds very Celtic and I really like that. That was absolutely incredible. Like seriously. That came out in 2014 and I hadn't been notified or heard about the song till yes yesterday. And now we're gonna check out the live version. It's Robert Plant's Sensational Space Shifters, Embrace Another Fall in 2014. And we're gonna be, let's see, clicking screen record in three, two, one. And Even though the audio is not that great, his voice still sounds amazing. Can someone in the comments let me know what instrument this man right here is playing? Because I've seen them before. I've seen that instrument before in a lot of like Robert Plant's live, like solo live performances. I'd like. To, I'd, I'm curious to see what that or to know what that is. I like the sound.
That high note was beautiful. incredible too. I mean the audio wasn't the best but it was pretty good. Um, let's look at the meaning behind the song. Let's see. Okay here we go. This is, okay, I'm going to songfacts.com. It says, this is one of several songs on Lullaby and the Ceaseless Roar that addresses Robert Plant's decision to break up with the American singer Patty Griffin. Okay, I heard about that part. And returned to his, from his, to his native England, he told Billboard magazine, this is about the regret of turning around. Okay, the song, or, the sing, I can't, sorry, I can't speak. The song features Plant's good friend, the Welsh language... F okay, she's Welsh, not Norwegian, like I thought. Uh, her voice, in a way, kind of reminded me of the lead singer from uh, The Cranberries. I can't think of her name right now, and I, I love her. Um, Welsh language folk singer Julie Murphy performing the verse of the 14th century poem Marwind, you're if dead? in her native language. The pair previously worked together in 2001 when they sang a duet, Life Begin Again, an Afro-Celt song system album, volume three, Further in Time. Okay. When I listened to the song, it kind of sounded, in my opinion, of sounds like somebody letting go of something, so I guess I was kind of on the right track. Um... It's such beautiful, such a beautiful song and melody. The the instruments are incredible, and he sang and he sang it with such emotion. And and I think I'm gonna have to add that I'm still working on my playlists. I've got a lot of it figured out, but I'm still working on it. And um, they they will be uh, my playlist will be fixed soon, probably in a few more days. I'm still working on it, and I'm definitely gonna have to add this to. Uh, I'm going to have a playlist for Robert Plant, and um, that's definitely going to be added to it. I love it. Let me know in the comments what you think about the song, what you think about the studio version and the live performance. I couldn't find a... I would love to have been able to find a clearer live performance, but that one was still pretty good. Um, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell to get notified for new and upcoming reaction videos. My Facebook is at Have a Very Nice Day, and as always, thank you all for watching.